And what they've done, in fact, is emasculated, demoralised it, uh, de-skilled it. it. As a net result, two-thirds of the police stations in the country have been sold off. The criminal justice system, the point you've just made, uh, has been allowed to go to rack and ruin. It's appalling to think that a rape victim now waits up to two years before their case can come to trial. So what we've actually got here is when you tackle, when you deal with a large organisation, an oil tanker, like the police, and decide to reform it, you then see what the results are. And because we've had people who don't know what they're doing interfering with professionals, dare I say, like myself and hundreds of chief superintendents, chief officers like me, and saying, we want you to do it this way, don't be surprised. Let me give you an example. I was speaking to a friend of mine literally this morning who runs an organisation called True Honour. What they do is they give presentations to police officers all over the country on how to prevent women and children being victims of honour crime. They went to a police station in South East London, one of the newer ones, to lecture to 60 people. When they got there, they found that for whatever reason, cuts to infrastructure, none of the projectors, none of the TV screens could work. And when they spoke to the inspector who was organising it, who was what we would call a new direct entrant inspector coming from outside the police, her reaction was, oh, well, it's not my job. Well, if an inspector can't set up some training on protecting women and children properly, this is all part of it. Police reform has caused shattering damage to what the police do up and down the country, never mind stop and search and so on. When you sell off all the police stations and create situations whereby, for example, a police officer decides to actually arrest someone, thank goodness someone does that these days, instead of taking it to their local police station two miles down the road, the prisoner, they may have to drive for an hour and a half, two hours across London rush hour traffic to a massive custody centre, be stuck there all day, and the streets are denuded. The bottom line is, when government decides to interfere in another, in, if you like, a public service and get right down to long-handled screwdrivers, right into the widgets, tell them how they've got to do it, and they know nothing about it, don't be surprised when we've yeah. got what I, we've got now. Anti-social behaviour is not dealt with, knife yeah, crime absolutely. out of control.